Hey guys, welcome to today's video, I'm from D5 Tech Support Team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add models to local in D5 Render. This video will be divided into three parts. First off, where is local asset library? Go to menu, preference, general asset storage, click the folder button for current location, and the folder where local assets are stored will pop up. As to folder location, I'll show you where to find it in two cases. If you've never migrated your assets, local library is located in library folder under D5 renders installation directory. In another case, if you have migrated the library, D5 assets will be stored in the folder that you chose. For example, a new folder, D5, workspace, created inside, D assets folder. Moving on, what's in local assets library? Open the model folder, and we can see three kinds of files. D5A files are the models stored under this directory. Cache folder is where all the D5A files information is stored. In tag name you'll find category names. Now, how do I use models shared by others? Three conditions. If the folder contains cache folder and tag name files, you can copy the folder to model folder, which will become a new category in local models and all the D5A files will be stored there. If there are only D5A files, you can copy those to corresponding folder. Reboot D5 render and you will see these models there. However, if you import D5A files directly into D5 by copying, thumbnails or names will not be shown in local library, and you need to edit those yourself. If the models are not in D5A format, like SKP, Max, 3DM files, you need to import them into D5 first, and then add to local. Alright, that's it for today's D5 tutorial. For more tips and tricks, follow us on these platforms.